Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to potential brand new series here on the channel. This time we're going to be taking a look at Warsaw, a turn-based tactical dungeon, dungeon crawler slash second world war battle simulator. Well, think of it like Darkest Dungeon just during the second world war in the capital of Poland. So. I am a big fan of Darkest Dungeon. It's it's one of the main reasons why when this game popped up on my radar, I wanted to try it out because back in the day when I used to rock only my laptop, Darkest Dungeon was one of the games which I kept publishing a lot of the adventures for and honestly, it took me for a crazy amount of time to get just as good enough as I currently am in the game as I was able to display. I still did manage to lose like entire parties of super skilled heroes. So I have not played Warsaw yet. I am not really sure how difficult this can be in comparison to let's say Darkest Dungeon, a game which despite the fact that I have put hundreds of hours into I have still not yet finished <laughs> so yeah fun stuff there but anyhow we have the potential darkest dungeon 2 coming up who knows maybe it's gonna be 2022 when we are gonna see it released there has been an announcement for a beta or something but it's supposed to take place only on the Oh my god, what you call it? The place where people play Fortnite at Epic Store Games. So we're gonna see if it's gonna be exclusive also to only Epic Store Games. I don't think I will be playing Darkest Dungeon 2 until it's released on Steam. I, I just don't see the point of having 10 platforms in order to have access to a game. Plus, Steam has still certain functions which are just in general a bit better in comparison to the Epic Store game. So, we, we are gonna just pick one safe, see how I feel about the game, and we're gonna see how much fun can we theoretically have with the Warsaw. And based on your feedback, we're gonna see if this is gonna turn into full-blown series or if I'm just gonna leave it behind and we're gonna focus upon something else which you might enjoy. So let's try a brand new game and the uh, tutorial campaign. Start from the beginning with the tutorial enabled and preset party. And then there is the advanced campaign. So, yeah, because we do not have the tutorial yet finished, we are going to probably choose that and see what's up. And we're going to see how this can turn out. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to probably keep it for now on the regular difficulty. I don't really think I have yet the understanding of the game to switch to, like, challenging or something. So, so let's go with this. And, okay. Let's see how good we can be at this, or how horrible I'm gonna be at this. Battered by opposing forces on two fronts, the Third Reich begins to crumble. In Central Europe, Poland lies at the heart of the storm, caught between the waning na- Yeah, uh, I think YouTube likes to demonetize if the n-word is used, so I'm not really sure what to do here. And already I can tell you in comparison to the Darkest Dungeon, I am so missing a narration here. Like, Wayne June does such an amazing job there. It's incredible. It is incredible. Okay, so, August the 1st, 1944. The first skirmishes begin. Why do you choose, like, the end of the summer to do this stuff? Was it as hot as this summer that people were just going crazy? The uprising begins. But before you are thrown into deep end, you will play through a short tutorial. Exploration. Right now, you are exploring a fragment of the city and your party is represented by a unique symbol. You can see your current team inventory and available action points at the bottom screen. So action points, inventory, these seem like some sort of abilities. Not really an inventory, okay, interesting. 
Your task is to complete the mission by fulfilling all the objectives shown in the upper left side of the screen. Movement on the map depletes your action points. Should you run out of action points before completing the given set of objectives, a mission will result in failure. For now, however, continue along the streets to move your party forward. The mouse cursor, press and hold the LMB. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have to go here. It looks like there is a firefight going on over there there seems to be some big church so okay we are supposed to reach a hideout there seems to be two barricades and the arrow is pointed this way so i'm assuming we're gonna have to follow this road encounters along your way through the streets and sewers of warsaw you will run into enemies loot and multiple choice events Certain enemies may force you into combat if they spot you and you are in danger zone, represented by a red circle around the enemy symbol. Consult the eye icon to check if the enemy can see you. If any of the encounters are nearby, an arrow displayed near your party icon will direct you. Initiate the encounter by approaching it will with your party and clicking on a button on an event pop up okay so there seems to be something over here obtaining ammunition your team needs ammunition before they can join the fight proceed obtaining ammunition before you set out to the rally point the first order of business is to arm yourself your team arrives to receive their assigned share of ammunition from a resistance arsenal and not a moment too soon a nazi patrol appears in the distance likely alarmed by the unusual activity in the district if you want to rendezvous with the uprising you will have to fight your way through okay so uh do i get all this ammo so 200 short ammo 200 long ammo 75 heavy ammo okay so text events events usually offer multiple choices to pick from certain choices during these events may require spending resources or passing trade checks with one of your characters failing these checks will typically result in negative consequences and sometimes even death jesus all checks are clearly marked in the text now proceed with your party towards the next point of interest to enter the combat tutorial okay so what the hell do i do uh with these things obtaining ammunition loot all looting supply drops resources caches discarded weaponry while in the field you will run into many opportunities to retrieve equipment for the uprising when the loot window is open click the items you wish to store in your inventory or the loot all button note that inventory space is limited and should you go over capacity you will need to leave some items behind items left in the caches remain there until the end of the mission okay so we currently do have okay so we will have to manage our inventory like in darkest dungeon okay that makes sense okay um uh, so what now where 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 do we go do we go down the Graznica, or how do you pronounce this, or do we go through here? Seems like there is a German patrol, so we're gonna have to go to Platz Železny Brami? Uh, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this, but uh, let's just see. So, patrol interception. This Nazi patrol needs to be eliminated if you are to reach your rally point. Okay. So combat tutorial. This tutorial will explain the mechanics of combat. You may skip it if you wish, but it is recommended to follow this through. Okay, so activation. In Warsaw, you begin each round with number of activation equal to the number of combatants on your side. So we have three of the eagles on the polish side and two of the german eagles activations are required to perform skills both sides alternate in using their activations 
and the current round ends when both sides use all their allocated or allotted activations. Now try activating a combatant. Okay, so in comparison to Darkest Dungeon, these are at least not like one, two, three, four. They are like sort of mixed around. So let's let's highlight Chris Christoph. Uh, examining skills. Highlight a skill using the mouse to display a tooltip and markers that show the starting position required for performing that skill. Highlight target acquired. Okay. When you select a skill marker, blah blah blah, you can only target. So we're gonna mark the big guy. And we did manage to deal damage. Okay. Stamina, you have successfully damaged an opponent with your skill, but it costs you some ammunition and point of stamina. Stamina is displayed under the combatant's health bar. The combatant's effectiveness relies on their stamina level. Uh, no penalties, accuracy reduced. Okay, noted. Okay, so they did throw grenade. Area of effect skill. Some skills are able to affect more than a single target. If so, it will be indicated in their tooltip as area. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, select Yadviga. And we're gonna go for the first eight, and I'm assuming we're gonna have to heal him. Okay, single shot there. Cover. Notice that your character took reduced damage. Standing right behind the obstacles, grant combatants additional armor, reducing the damage. Okay, okay, interesting. So we're gonna select him, and we're gonna try to probably move him. Auxiliary skills. Notice that you have other options aside from using offensive or defensive skills, such as moving your character or skipping the activation altogether. While both use an Activation only movement affects stamina. So we are gonna try to use movement and try to. Really? I would have moved him behind this thing, but okay. Uh. Planking. Combatants on both sides occupy tiles on one of two horizontal lanes. All targets. Attacked from the other lane Are considered flanked and receive a 15% bonus damage Okay, so we're gonna have to go for the grenadier and that's gonna deal him added damage because he is being Dada. flanked Okay, draw out so he effectively pulled out Casimir and it's time to use a buff Okay so, combatant ammunition. I have no idea what to do. Target or fella. Okay. Buffs. Skills can apply an array of buffs which are displayed as icons on combatant's portrait. You can how you can hover over those icons to check their effects and remaining duration. Bleed chance up. Increase the chance of applying bleed by 80%. God damn, okay, that's pretty damn impressive. But he is pretty damn exposed here, so I would love to move him behind. Debuff. Some skills can also apply debuffs to enemy targets. Burn and bleed inflict damage over time. Blind decreases the target's accuracy. And suppression prevents the target from performing skills altogether. Like with buffs, each activation and round decreases the debuff's remaining duration. Try to apply a debuff to your opponent now. Okay, we're gonna go here and uh, select a single shot. How does a single shot give a chance Oh, it's just because we have the buff, we lit him on fire. Okay, win the battle. Make, makes sense. So if possible, I would love to move you... ...behind the cover. 
They are really annoying with these grenades. Uh, let's go with a heal for our medic. I'm not sure if he was flanked or not. And... Okay, almost dead. If he is still on fire, he's gonna die. Which leaves only the Grenadier. Full auto, mow down, fake out. Let's go with the full auto. Okay, we really need to heal him up. Don't know if there's like a limitation as to how many times can you, for example, use an ability. And we have still like one more point here. Uh, unfortunately, no. Okay. You are victorious. Okay. Death and survival. Remember, death is permanent. Whether in battle or events, it is vital to keep your characters alive and well, especially since their health does not replenish automatically. While certain rewards may appear promising, sometimes it is better to limit your risk and avoid combat altogether. Okay, interesting. So we need to reach the hideout. We're gonna go over here. Arrival with the patrol gone. Your team should have a clear path now. Arrival. Having emerged victorious from their first real engagement, your team descends into the city sewer network to reach the rally point. There is little time to celebrate, however, for the hard part comes next. The uprising is now in full swing. The long battle has begun. Okay, so we need to return to the hideout. When all objectives are fulfilled, an icon will appear in the upper left part of the screen. Press the complete mission button to return to your hideout. Okay, so we have acquired items. We have commendation, and we have two party members who have been injured. Okay, uh, so we have a couple of districts. War assets, I don't know what they are. I, I don't know if there's some sort of money uh, in play. I, I'm heavily comparing this to Darkest Dungeon because I'm quite sure the fellas behind this game took some inspiration. But there you were responsible for gathering not ammo, but money. And I don't know if this is like, for example, in Metro uh, games where the ammunition can be used as currency or something. So who knows? Uh, momentum 99.3%. Uh, okay. Mission summary. Carrying out mission takes time. At the end of every mission, you will receive a quick summary of all the gains and losses of the uprising. You will also get to resolve all the events that have transpired in the meantime. Okay. Uh, never been so much fun. Okay. Uh, never been so much fun. One of the youngest members of the Grey Ranks was forced to kill an enemy soldier in self-defense today. Curiously, despite the initial shock, it would seem the youthful soldier has taken quite a liking to firing guns of all shapes and sizes now and is excited to get back into the fray. Okay, that is good, I guess. So, day two. I'm not sure if that is like number of people still alive in Warsaw. Hideout tutorial. You have reached the resistance hideout. Your base of operations between assignments. You can either view the tutorial explaining the hideout or skip. Resistance hideout. 
Here you can plan new missions, oversee party recovery, manage spare equipment and recruit volunteers for the cause. These activities can be accessed with the assistance of specialist NPCs. Okay, so there are looks like a priest, uh, a nurse, I don't know what else to think. Your current and future party members will also be represented here. Okay, so... Party member. Character overview. Okay. Skills. Weapons. So it looks like we are going to be able to switch around a couple of things. Perks are automatically applied to the character and are always active. Okay. Uh, the recruiter. The recruiter allows you to enlist volunteers. Volunteers are not as capable as your unique insurgents, for instance. They cannot rank up and cannot have more than one personal skill. Uh, they allow you to fill gaps in your team composition and stand in for wounded characters during their recovery. Enlist volunteers cost supplies. Okay, uh, ooh. So, helping hand and open fire. Can we find out more about that person? If one both elements are not chosen, they will be randomized. Okay. Barricade. Target an enemy tile. Create an obstacle. Ploy. Restore one point of stamina. Let's go with helping hand and uh, let's go with the car 98. It requires the long type of ammo, which might be more valuable. But I, I think it's just going to be a bit better in dealing damage. Okay. And I'm not sure if I... Okay, so did I recruit that person? Uh, who's now Roxana? How did she come into this whole damn thing? I'm, I'm a little bit confused there. Did, did we hire Ruda or... Okay, I, I'm confused. Uh, so I don't know if I like hired too many people of the same class or something. Mork. The priest visit the priest allows you to see the list of all resistance fighters who have fallen in the service of the uprising. Okay, no casualties as of yet. The provisioner overview. The provisioner serves as the trade hub of your hideout. It is through her that you are able to purchase your basic equipment, repair any damaged gear, and sell unwanted weaponry. Okay. So, bandages, flares, camo, compass, supplies, commendation, weapons, we don't have anything, barter, you can directly purchase stuff or sell stuff, and repairs, doesn't look like we have anything right now. Uh, how about you? The archivist, okay, so he's just gonna be like writing down stuff which happened, right? Learn details of your insurgents. Okay, I don't want to really read too much of this right now. Uh, nurse. Uh, the nurse. The nurse allows you to monitor the health status of your party and their recovery rate. Uh, okay, so currently nobody seems to be injured. The informant. The informant is your window into the status of the uprising. Here you can monitor the overall condition of the uprising as well as individual resistance pockets and specific districts. Okay. Interesting. 
Excursions. Excursions allow you to aid your districts by sending supplies to replenish a portion of the morale. Every time your party returns to the hideout, there is a 50% chance that a damaged uh, district will be available to receive an excursion. Okay. So, I do wonder if we are looking right now for like a specific task. Missions. So... Uh, there seems to be a mission in Vola, in Praga, and uh, Mokotov. So, new mission? Mission selection. Every time you set out, the informant will mark your map with available missions. Each mission takes several days to complete, as your team cannot be everywhere at the same time. You can pick only one mission at a time, and the remaining missions will fail, so pick your engagements wisely. Select a district with a mission symbol to see more details. Okay, what do we have here? Reviewing mission details allow you to check its duration, required objectives, and rewards. When a mission fails, the district gains a point of attrition. District details show its current morale and accumulated attrition. With each passing day, all districts' morale will drop with the decrease equal to their attrition value. As your attrition morale is high, Keep in mind that district's income will be affected by low morale. If district's morale drops to zero, it will surrender, denying you both income and missions. Okay. Re-establish the downed telephone lines. Uh, days five. Jesus. Okay. Um, how about the other mission? How do I go back? Uh, assassinate a high-value German officer. Three days. Uh, income, 12 supplies per day, and 6 supplies or war assets, okay. Uh, commendation, damage heavy weapon, 300 experience, increase attrition. Failing or ignoring this mission will result in this district gaining 1 attrition point. So we are going to have to balance in between the regions in order to do the missions so that none of these are going to have their attrition fully filled in. Uh, neutralize enemy units. Mission duration. Okay. Let's, let's go for the assassination. 60, 90, 60. Yeah, let's go for the assassination, see how it's going to work out. Uh, deployment. Uh, before embarking on a mission, you need to choose your party composition within the specified limit. To pick a character, press the left mouse button and choose. Remember, proper positioning is crucial for your party to succeed. As for each battle, your characters will enter combat in the formation you set on the screen. Okay, so uh, we did hire, apparently bunch of these units which i did not plan on doing but the damage was done mission supplies is this compass increased movement efficiency during missions the heavy ammo we have that we have the long ammo I definitely won't have my medic. Well, let's go like this and see what, what's gonna happen. I, I don't know if we can take more units right now. But interesting thing is that it seems like we are not gonna be limited to only 4 units. So 8 seems to be the maximum. Which means we can be running also into enemy groups which have more than 4 units. That might be tricky. Uh, do we want to switch Kristoff for somebody else? It's a risk. Because I don't know how effective are these ladies with their weapons. Ah, you know what? L let's take him. 
Uh, mission supplies. Render the party invisible to enemies on the map. Attacking while invisible will trigger an ambush, reducing the enemy's initial amount of activations by one. Okay. Reveal all points of interest in the currently visible area. Yeah, let's not take any of these things right now. We're still just trying to learn the game and see what's up. So, assassinate the high-valued target. It looks like we have two directions which we can take. Now, the question is if we can only take, like, the roads or if we can actually cut it through the field here. Oh, damn it. Wow, okay. Uh, so, we seem to have some brand new type of enemy. Uh, they have the shepherds, they have the guy with the rifle, and uh, German elite infantry soldier with an iron mask? What is this? That's just weird. Um, so if we try to do the open fire, accuracy 68, accuracy 82, uh, 70, okay. This is gonna suck. Ah, that's for sure. Uh, single shot. 80% and 94%. Flanking included. 26 points of damage. Okay, we're gonna have to heal our machine gunner. Uh, the bleed will still keep on ticking away the damage or keep adding the damage. Um, Fifty-eight, seventy-two, full auto. Uh, what if we do contraband ammo? Buff. Maybe uh, thanks to having the flanking maneuver, I uh, might be able to deal some uh, burn damage here. Eighty percent, ninety-four percent, and he's got that burning damage, so he should die. We need to heal our. Rifle lady here. Not really sure what to call the classes yet. We're gonna have to heal our medic too. Okay. We're gonna have to come up with a way to target this doofus. Just, just impossible. Sixty-one percent accuracy. Seventy-six percent accuracy. Unfortunately, the bricks are taking damage too. Ah, uh, let's heal him. And then the medic. Uh, critical death. Okay, the dog is gone. Still have to deal with the elite soldier, though. Healing the medic. Use no more than 20 units of long ammo. Ammo used 11 out of 20. Okay, this is not gonna be good. 61% uh, accuracy. 66. We don't even have a shot. If we don't get rid of this goddamn thing, I'm not gonna be happy. Um, what are the chances if we were to move? We cannot move over here in order to, like, get a, a better angle over here. Okay. 
He has almost full health. Uh, increase the chance to be targeted by enemy. No. No. Clear shot. No. Repelling fire. Uh, push an enemy back one tile. That might be actually useful for us. Let's see if that works. So that should give us an opening to target the elite soldier with more weapons. Eighty-eight percent chance. Fifteen out of twenty. Kill three enemies with single ability. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Ah, oh, damn it, that's a miss. Even that's a possibility. Uh, did I use all of the turns for this, or... Can I move you? No. Not enough stamina to act. Sixty six percent accuracy. Seventy eight. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to fulfill these uh, potential side objectives here. It sucks. OK, what if we were to do contraband ammo? And with the buff, maybe apply the burning damage. Okay, bleed damage. Uh, we need to heal a bunch of our people. So that's some healing. No, out of range. Uh, 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 uh. let's heal. And thanks to the bleeding, he died. You are victorious. Okay, this was kind of not the best performance. Uh, there seems to be some sort of a supply drop from the enemy. Oh, damn it. Okay, almost got caught. There's a lot of enemy units here. I, I don't know if that is our target. Uh, okay, the eye is open, so I'm guessing they are like aware of our presence here. Assassinate the high value target. I think that that's the target. I got no idea, honestly. Is is that it? Uh use no more than 40 units of short ammo. Oh uh, man, this is gonna be problematic. A uh, duh, 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 duh. uh German infantry, German infantry, paramedic, and sapper, German infantry elite. This looks like some support class. We need to get rid of the medic. Hi. We are getting into this with already some damage sustained. Ah, uh, 91% chance, 81% chance. Okay, he was able to demolish the barrel. Single shot. Uh, 103%. Let's go for it. Critical attack. Okay, we are also receiving some critical damage here. Uh, let's heal him. 
Das wird dir Kraft geben. He's gonna go for personal boost. Interesting choice there. Uh, full on auto. Let's see if we can get rid of the medic. The medic is gone. There's at least one miss. And... Damn it. Did not check the percentage. So our medic will need to heal. Okay. A second one down. Let's see. Uh, let's heal her. She can then try to heal him. Nice critical heal. And we still have a chance to go. Don't think you can, however, do any of these uh, uh, taunting. Okay. Strike. Okay, that worked. It was at least something. Uh, clear shot. I don't know if I want to do that. Open fire. 75% chance. Full on auto. 67. 70. Let's go with that. Okay. Damn it. One HP, seriously. We're gonna have to heal our medic. Nice. Okay, miss. Helping, helping, helping. Uh. 67% and he misses. That stinks. Okay, so he is gone. Fifth turn. I don't think this is the unit which has the commander in it. At least I don't feel like it. Damn, that was brutal. Oh, helping him. No, not yourself, goddammit. That was unfortunate. I didn't want to use too much of her stamina, that's the thing. 57% accuracy, that's not gonna help. Eighty-two percent. So it looks like they are using the exact same type of rifle. Seventeen points of damage. One more point of stamina completely exhausted this unit. Let's hope that next round we can finish this off. Damn it. Okay. Let's see if we can knife the enemy to death. Interesting. Ah. Uh, 
Oh, okay, we can zoom out all the way like this. We are in an entirely different portion. Uh, no idea where to go. We have 70 activity points. Two enemy groups with some sort of provisions. We started off in here. No idea where to go. Okay, there seems to be an arrow. We just might be able to reach our target. There are some provisions, apparently. Hidden belongings. Someone must have hidden these goods with great sense of urgency. Right now, they are yours to take. Ah, uh, loot all. And we have now only 46 action points to finish off the mission or we have failed. Ah, uh, man, we are risking here a lot. Twenty-seven action points left. Uh, yellow arrow. Six action points. I'm gonna fail this. I'm so gonna fail this. Yeah, mission failed. Yeah. Well, I gotta learn somehow the game, so there's that. So the event is new blood. A puzzling man makes a surprise appearance at your hideout today, introducing himself as one of the executioners of the home army. He explains that it is his sworn duty to personally deliver death penalties upon those sentenced by the Polish underground state, uh, be they German or merely German sympathizers, explaining that he was assigned to join your team in order to carry out one of his operations. Ernest has joined the cause. Welcome aboard. So, yeah. I kind of did screw the pooch there. Uh, so, uh, I'm assuming the negative stats are gonna increase for the city. So if we were to take a look over here, yeah, the attrition has increased. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six districts to work with. Uh, missions are gonna be changing. Momentum is gonna be changing. If I recall correctly, the Warsaw uh, Uprising has been actually defeated by the Germans. I'm not really sure, like, right now. Hold on. I don't know, maybe they did win. It's hard to tell. The wiki is just full of ton of data and it's kind of hard to find uh, anything specific but it did take a couple of months for the Warsaw uprising so it lasted from August till October so who knows if the game will actually change like weather conditions uh, like you would have actually winter and snow falling or who knows but anyhow I, I think we're gonna cut it off over here this is a kind of interesting introduction to the Warsaw, as is. I'm quite sure the game can be a whole lot more challenging, but if we're going to turn this into uh, more episodes, I need your feedback to see if you are going to like this or not. In the meantime, check out the link in the video's description for more fun content, as I publish videos like this from Mondays till Fridays. I do playthroughs, reviews, comparisons, guides, all sorts of cool stuff. Go check it out. Link is in the description. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell. That way I have bigger community, larger feedback, and I can try to focus upon creating a higher quality content. So I'm going to wish you a pleasant rest of the day. Thank you for watching, everyone, and bye-bye for now.